Welcome to the new Flawed Teapot Prediction, Part 1. The original prediction was ruined by teardrop and double eliminations. Then this new one got forcibly delayed by Teapot 5 releasing much, much earlier than I expected. Man, I can't catch a break, can I? But that's in the past now, so it's whatever. This is the Unknown Elimination Area lol, or the We All, as I like to call it, and will be calling it from now on. This is the order of teams being up for elimination so far, as of Teapot 6. And these are the contestants that remain, also as of Teapot 5. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. Before we can venture into the unknown though, we have to look at Teapot 6 first, which sees Are You OK and the strongest team on Earth each lose a member, with the latter doing worse. As each of these contestants are declared safe, I will remove them from the screen. Safe are Grassy, Snowball, Robot Flower, and Bell. The bottom two are Eggy and Basketball, although the votes are somewhat close. They aren't close enough. Basketball is the one who's staying. I was a bit surprised to learn this too. I thought for sure it would be Bell going, but no. Now, we need to divert our attention towards... Are you okay? Safe our pen. Golf ball. TV, surprisingly. He's third since he actually did something for once. Puff ball. An eraser. The bottom two are fries and tennis ball. I'm super surprised that TB ended up all the way down here so early. I thought for sure he'd be one of the first couple to be safe. He does have to share voters with golf ball though. Luckily for him, TB and GB have more combined supporters. Ants fries also has to share with puff ball. So, despite having more votes than half of the strongest team, this means that Fries is the first member to leave Are You OK? I bet he sure isn't, that's for sure. In this episode, two contestants are going to switch teams. I think Snowball would do something that would turn out to be the last straw that pushes Basketball and Grassy over to Teardrop's team. Now I'm going to announce who loses. It'll be Teammates and the S again, this time with the S doing worse. Don't worry, this will be the only time I repeat one combo of two teams being up at the same time. Safe our winner, Yellowface, Rocky, and Clock. The bottom two are Bottle and Ice Cube. These two are up against a team of fan favorites, while not being much of ones themselves. However, in Teapot 5, Ice Cube actually got original lines for once. And this may happen some more in Teapot 6. It's too bad, really. I like Bottle much more than I do Ice Cube. As for Team 8's, safe are Pin, Coiny, Barf Bag, and Needle. The bottom two are Donut and Gady. I'm just gonna cut to the chase with this one. I like Gady and all, but she hasn't really done anything since Teapot 2. I think she'd end up as an early boot.
I think if there ever was a time to put a team up for elimination twice in a row, that now would be a good time to do it. They lose alongside Death Pact again. Safe are Winner, Rocky, and Yellowface. The bottom two are Clock and Bottle. Clock is still being a bit weird about Winner, though he's gotten better about it. Ice Cube is mainly here for the same reason as last time, which means she's now been in the bottom two three times in a row. I think Clock wins out here by a pretty small amount. Much like Ice Cube herself, I don't have any more to say on this topic, so let's switch over to... Death Pact again. The first safe on this team is Marker again, followed by Black Hole, and then Tree. The bottom two are Fanny and Lightning. The votes between these two and Tree could be just as close as T-Pop 5's, but also maybe not since your mode isn't here. I'm gonna hazard a guess and say that the remote voters mostly go to Lightning, Tree, or a member of the S, causing Fanny to fall. She sure will hate it when she gets out, or maybe she'll surprise us? Who can say? In this episode, the last two teams with six members each lose another. Safe our pillow, price tag, cake, and book. The bottom two are nickel and bomby. Neither are vote to save margins per se. Remember, bomby was only safe early because of sympathy votes. Meanwhile, Nickel has been getting more to do lately. Primarily is growing friendship with Cake, so I think he stays. So marks the downfall of another BFDIA debuter, but what about Are You Okay? The first safe here is Pen. And then Puffball because Fry supporters would most likely save her over one of the others. Golf Ball is next. And then Tennis Ball. This is why Golf Ball's lower this time, because their shared fans see that he's in danger and so some choose to save him instead. The top two, or bottom two, are TV and Eraser. Eraser doesn't really have enough supporters of his own, and he hasn't interacted with Pen much since Teapot 2, so I doubt too many of his fans would switch. For those reasons, I feel TV will most likely be able to survive another close one here. Sorry Eraser fans, but what are you gonna do about it? Which two teams should I put up this time? I think I'll put up another team twice in a row, and have teammates lose again as well. I promise you that this will not happen again, having two up in a row. Safe are Pen, Golf Ball, and Puff Ball. The bottom two are Tennis Ball and TV. Given that TV has had a lot more to do lately, this is a difficult choice to make. However, I think Tennis Ball ultimately has more fans than TV does. Looks like that not even that Teapot JPEG can save him now. For teammates, safe are Coiny, Pin, and Barf Bag. This leaves us with Donut and Needle as our bottom two. Who will it be, though? Honestly, I think that Donut is significantly more popular than Needle is, despite him getting bottom two multiple times. 
So Needle now needs to negate her position. Well, Donut, uh, doesn't. Oh hey, guess what? I think it's time to do a rejoin. Whoever it is will get to join Teardrop. Here's who I think will be the top 10 most voted. Out of these, not rejoining are Cloudy, Fries, Gaty, Needle, Bottle, Ice Cube, Saw, and Fanny. The top two are Eraser and Remote. For Eraser, I think that people would want to see his rivalry with Teardrop continue. His being on that team would make it extra spicy. Remote, however, is a much more obvious contender to rejoin the show. I think Remote would get back. After all, Eraser was just eliminated two episodes prior to this, so most would probably think it to be too soon for him to return. For the final episode to be covered in part 1, I'll go with the strongest team on Earth, since it's been a while, and the S, as I believe that their teapots beat, although this is probably the last time they'll lose before the merge. Out of the three remaining members of this team, the first one safe is Snowball. This leaves us with Bell and Robot Flower as the bottom two for this one. Oh boy, I sure do wonder who's gonna go. Yeah, I don't think this really surprises anyone. Not sure what else to even say, so I'm just gonna move on to the S and their elimination. Moving on to the S now, the first one safe will be winner, again. They just can't stop winning it seems. Also catching the 23rd letter of the alphabet is Rocky. The bottom two are Clock and Yellowface. This isn't Clock's first time here, but it is Yellowface's. Let me explain why. Yellowface is certainly more popular than Bottle and Ice Cube, but he definitely isn't on the level of Rocky or Winner. He also has Snowball to deal with at the same time. But he was the first safe in Teapot 4 and got the most votes out of both teams. Remember, Clock didn't let him sing, so he got the sympathy vote that episode. Much like Bommy after him and Bell before him. Sorry for soapboxing there. Despite what I said, I think Yellowface survives. Clock was able to get by before because there were other, less popular characters. Both on his team and the other he was up with in each elimination. But now, his luck has run out. Thanks for watching! Part 2 comes out next Saturday! Welcome to part 2 of the new Flawed Teapot Prediction. This episode will feature the merge, although that's really the only major event this time around. This is the We All, which is where I'm going to be putting eliminated contestants. This is the order of teams being up for elimination as of Teapot 12, and these are the teams also as of Teapot 12, with 26 contestants remaining. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. Now it's time to once again choose who loses. I choose Just Not because they still have 5 members, and teammates because Teardrop just got a rejoiner. 
When someone is safe, they will disappear. Safe are price tag, pillow, and I think Book's reputation may have finally recovered by this point. This means that the bottom two will be cake and nickel. By this point, I think both will be pretty well liked. However, I strongly suspect that Cake is the one who gets to stay. This is the first time in a while that a BFDIA debuter has fallen though, so that must count for something, right? Over on teammates, Safe are Coiny and Pin. The bottom two are Donut and Barf Bag. I wonder who's gonna get out here. This might be a hot take, but I actually think it'll be Barf Bag who stays. Donut may have been able to survive Bottom 2's previously, but I think his luck has run out now. Teapot 14, huh? 4 divided by 2 is 2. Anyways, this is the episode Teardrop finally loses, and Death Pact again hasn't lost it a bit either, so I'll put them up as well. Save our Marker, who I feel has essentially a permanent popularity boost by this point, and Black Hole, who has pretty much always been popular. Tree and Lightning are our bottom two this time. Who will be leaving the show today? To tell the truth, I think Tree is definitely the more popular of the two. Also, Lightning has to split the vote with Remote, a former member of Death Pact again, so that definitely doesn't help. Speaking of her... Well, well, look who actually lost. The first one safe here is Grassy, predictably enough. Teardrop, the one that this team is named after, is also safe. This means Remote and Basketball are the bottom two this time. Despite being up against her former team in votes and likely having to share with them as a result, she's also a recent rejoiner so I think people would want her to stick around for longer. As a result, Basketball has fallen shorter of what she needs in order to be saved. I know the teams are starting to get really small, but don't worry, this is the final elimination before the merge. I figure 20 contestants is the perfect point at which to do it. Anyways, these two teams will be the last ones up for elimination. The only one who is safe this time is Winner, as they remain pretty popular even now. Yellowface and Rocky are the bottom two. One of them will go leaving the S with just two members. But which of them is it? The cute factor will save Rocky, I have a little doubt about it. This means Yellowfella falls finally. At least he made it much farther than most expected him to. Now for Just Not's final elimination. Safe our price tag. And Pillow. The bottom two are Book and Cake. At this point, I think it's pretty obvious why these two specifically are here. With that said, I think it's Book that gets to move on to the merge. Without Nickel around, Cake just doesn't have much of anything going on. Plus, Book may have the backing of fans of Bubble and Ruby to help save her. After this point, I don't think I'm going to show this screen anymore. It really isn't necessary since there won't be teams anymore. 
And it saves me having to come up with new things to say here. Anyways, let's dissolve these teams. There we go. The red is where endangered contestants will go in each episode. Also, it's still going to be double eliminations. Half of the remaining contestants will also lose each time. I wonder who it will be today. Ah. Out of these ten, safe our tennis ball, pen, marker, puff ball, and coiny, pin, and tree. The bottom three are pillow, grassy, and rocky. Previously, these three were all saved by having less popular teammates. But now, they're up against other popular characters. Since Grassy and Rocky seem to have overlapping fan bases, I have Pillow surviving this one. That's all I have to say about this one, truthfully. Let's select more contestants again. The contestants up for voting are... These ones. Safe Arm Marker. Pin. Pen. Black Hole. Winner. And Teardrop. The bottom three are Remote, Barf Bag, and Robot Flower. Only one gets to stay, but which will it be? I think Barf Bag is the one who gets to stay. Remote has to share fans with Black Hole and Marker, and Robot Flower hasn't had much to do lately, especially without TV around, only lasting this long because her team kept winning. In the final episode that will be covered for today, the following contestants are up for voting. Coiny, Pen, Golf Ball, Puff Ball, Pin, Teardrop, Snowball, and Marker. In this part's final elimination, safe our Snowball, Marker, Golf Ball, Pen, and Puff Ball. The bottom three are Coiny, Pin, and Teardrop. Normally, Coiny and Pin would likely both survive fine, but add Teardrop into the mix and things could get hairy. However, I think TD has more fans outside of Wall Bunch, so she could stay easily. Looks like it's the end for my original predicted winner of Teapot. And also Coiny, I guess. At least they're going down together. Thanks for watching! Part 3, the finale, comes out next Saturday! Welcome to Part 3 and the final part of the new Flawed Teapot Prediction. It's the final part. And no, I'm not going to make another updated prediction in the future. Certainly not now that Teapot episodes are coming faster. This is the We All, as I call it, since we don't know what it's actually called, as of Teapot 19. And these are the last 14 remaining contestants in the show. We have no time to lose, so let's get started. 
Once again, I'm going to pick out who is going to lose for this episode. Here's what I'm choosing. Barf bag, book, pillow, winner, tennis ball, tree, and price tag. As per usual, a contestant disappears from the screen when they're declared safe. Today, that includes tennis ball, winner, tree, and price tag. The bottom three are pillow, book, and barf bag, whose elimination would result in Team 8's being the first team to lose all of its members. Is it going to happen, or will Taggy be the only Just Nodder left? Looks like Taggy will be the only Just Nodder left, because Barf Bag survives! I feel that Book and Pillow would have to share supporters, so both would end up losing vote share and get out as a result. This is a very special episode, since it is 2 times 10. Now to choose the 6 contestants who will be at risk. Only 4 of them will get to stay. They're Barf Bag, Puff Ball, Teardrop, Tennis Ball, Golf Ball, and Black Hole. The first safe of these is Black Hole. Then Teardrop. Then Puff Ball. The bottom three are golf ball, tennis ball, and golf ball. I mean barf bag. To tell the truth, I don't actually know what to say here. So I'll just spill that I think golf ball would survive here. Just a gut feeling, honestly. This now means that Team 8's is the first team to lose all of its members. I believe that this episode will see someone new rejoin. And that I also think it will be an exeter. Specifically, Lai will win the vote that will be held. This way, there will have been a debut, a rejoin, someone coming from BFB, and someone coming from the exit. All the bases are covered now. Apologies that this episode's segment was so brief though, I just don't have much to say here. From now on, only one contestant at a time will have immunity, and they'll be put in the green zone. Today only, though, it'll be Lie, since he just got here, and the other one will be Tree. Safe are Snowball, Golf Ball, Black Hole, Pen, Puffball, and Marker. The bottom three are Winner, Price Tag, and Teardrop. I think that the this point, people will decide that they don't really want a debuter to win the season, so they will end up getting the least votes. This does technically apply to Teardrop as well. Out of them though, one stays, but which? I think it's Teardrop. There's no doubt Winner and Tag are liked, but I think they'd fall in a matchup against TD, the third placer of BFB. Okay, now from now on only one contestant gets immunity, and today that one is... Teardrop. Since this is based on who loses in Teapot 22, however, 
I also think this will be an auto elimination in that episode for whoever does worst in the challenge, on top of the usual double elimination. Pen will end up placing dead last, resulting in his elimination. I chose Pen because, from a writer's perspective, it's the easiest way to keep him out of the finale. Now for the vote part. Safe our black hole, snowball, lie, and golf ball. The bottom three are marker, puffball, and tree. Tree's a rejoiner. Marker's star power has likely worn off somewhat by now, and puffball. Well, she's just here by happenstance. All that to say, I think Puffball is the one who gets to stay. Marker and Tree played a good game, but now they're done for good. Teapot 24, the final episode before the final four. Who will be the one that is guaranteed access to the finals via immunity? Snowball will be that one. Safe our teardrop. And Lai, who I think will become something of a villain character as Teapot winds down. The bottom three are Black Hole, Golf Ball, and Puff Ball. Which of these rounded objects will be the last finalist? Black Hole. I think that people will end up taking sides on a possible Golf Ball and Puff Ball conflict that causes both to go down. So unless Black Hole counts, that means Snowball is the last of the ball contestants. Teardrop, Snowball, Lie, and Black Hole. Congratulations on making it to the finale of the new Flawed Teapot Prediction. Now, which one of you will be the one that wins 2's Limitless Powers? In fourth place is Lie. She wasn't here for very long, so I doubt the viewers would want to let her win. She did play a good game during her brief time on the show, though. Taking home bronze is Black Hole. He proved to be very popular and very capable. However, I don't think the viewers would want him to win given that he's powerful enough already. He can at least take solace in being the highest placing newbie though. And out of Teardrop and Snowball, the winner of the new flawed teapot prediction is... Snowball by a hair. And such a small one that the winner could change every few minutes as the votes get counted. Would it pass 100,000 votes total, resulting in a season 6? Most likely. The finale of each season always gets far more votes than any other episode. Anyways, congratulations to him! Let's hope he uses those powers for good. And this is the final elimination order. From lowest being pie to highest being snowball. I know that doing a hashtag and sharing the comments with it is the usual tradition, but I'm gonna do something different with the ending of this video this time. Here are the best placing contestants of several different categories of objects. These are the highest placers from each team. These are the highest placers from each pre-split BFB team. And these are the highest placers from each voice actor out of those that voice more than one character in Teapot. 
Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for future uploads.